Rick Lorenz with the Walt Disney Archives, and we get to unbox and uncrate so many amazing artifacts here in the archives that every day seems like our birthday, or I should say our unbirthday. Did you guess the movie? That's right. It's Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. And this collection happens to be the largest collection of set models and miniatures that we have in the archives. Today we are uncrating these models so that our registrar, Melissa, can take a condition report of each of these pieces. We have not opened these crates in 10 years. Now these pieces are used during pre-production as models of the sets that you see in the film. This particular one is of the Red Queen's bedroom chamber. It was designed by Jeff Frost, and it is a two-fifth to one-inch scale model. Another one that I really like over here because of the detail in the outdoor setting is the March Harris House, which you can see here among the trees. And clearly the table is set down here for the Mad Tea Party. This crate here is a nice large one of the Red Queen's Dungeon. Now my favorite part about this particular one is you can't see anything here, but each of these pieces is removable which then gives the camera and the director a chance to see inside the set before filming begins. Now this model was also designed by Jeff Frost. Now let's talk to Melissa, our registrar here at the archives, and she can give you a little bit of information on condition reporting and what that is about. Hi, I'm Melissa Pancook, registrar of the Walt Disney Archives. Before any of our assets go on exhibition, I make notes on the physical condition of the asset. I look to see if there's any damage, and if so, I know what kind and how extensive the damage is. I also make general notes on the materials used to create the asset. I note if there's any naturally occurring deterioration, take dimensions, and take photo documentation of the asset. One of the most important aspects of condition reporting is also making recommendations for preservation and restoration before exhibition. I've actually never seen these models from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland before, so it's a real thrill to get to see them up close and in detail. It kind of feels like you've taken a shrinking potion with Alice. Thanks, Melissa. As soon as Melissa's done doing the condition reports on these set models, I'm gonna get them back into their crates and sealed up to protect them and hopefully we'll come up with an exhibit for them soon, because I'd sure hate to leave them in these crates for another 10 years. If you want to see more of our amazing collection, check out our site at d23.com.